16 strange animal hybrids. Number 16, the zonkey. This is what you get when you cross a donkey with a zebra. A zonkey. How original. Zonkeys can occur naturally in the wild and have, but mostly in Africa where they live near one another. Like with most hybrid offsprings, these guys aren't able to reproduce, which is probably for the best because just looking at it is giving me a headache. Number 15, the Groller Bear. The Groller Bear happens to be a hybrid of both a grizzly and a polar bear due to the climate change that's forcing the polar bear out of its natural habitat and further south, where it's believed these creatures are being made. So technically, this one's on us. We indirectly helped create this animal. Humanity is so unbearable. Moving on. Number 14, the beefalo. This is the result of a mix between a cow and an American bull bison. They've been around since the 1700s, but weren't intentionally bred until the next century. Beefaloes are prized for their meat that's lower in fats and cholesterol, but breeding has become such an issue that most of the world's buffalo population had been tainted with cow genes. One might say that's utterly dreadful. Number 13. The Kama. The genetic offspring of a male dromedary camel and a female llama is the Kama. Naturally, a camel can't mate with a llama because it's six times the size of a llama. You're welcome for that scarring image. Which is why the Kama was conceived through artificial insemination. Literally, the whole point of this crossbreeding was to get an animal with more quality of wool from a llama and the strength, temperament, and size of a camel. That's probably why only five were ever made. Number 12, the Walfin. Considered one of the rarer hybrids in the world, the Walfins are a combination of a male false killer whale and a female bottlenose dolphin. Whale, whale, whale. What an interesting mix. They can be born in the wild, but there's only one that's in captivity in Hawaii that proves they really exist. Known to be fertile, these animals are capable of reproducing offspring. Number 11, the Geep. Geeps are the final product of crossing a goat with a sheep, and these little guys happen to be pretty rare on top of being adorable. This is because goats and sheep belong to different genera and species. The difference in chromosomes is what causes most geeps to be stillborn. I'm just going to geep it real with you guys. Crossbreeding is a science that should not be taken lightly. Number 10, the lepon. A lepon happens to come from a female lioness and a male leopard. Crazy, right? But no, I'm not lying. Uh, anyways, this species of cat is intentionally bred and wouldn't happen naturally in the wild. These big cats are prone to illnesses such as cancer and rarely make it into adulthood because of their inherited health issues. Number nine, the yakalo. The process of merging a bull yak and an American bison bull into one animal. The yakalo was carried out in the 1920s when scientists were experimenting with hybridization. The experiment was canceled in 1928 because many of the calves wouldn't survive. These poor animals were just science projects. The thought alone is enough to make me want to yak. Number eight, the zorse. The zorse was created using a male zebra and a female horse, unlike its reversal. The Hebra, which is created when you cross a female zebra and a male horse. The appearance of Zorses tends to vary since there are over 3,000 species of domestic horses that can be combined with the three species of zebras. Though sterile, the Zorse is considered a very sturdy animal and can live around 30 years with little to no major health problems. Number 7. The Kai Wolf. The Kai Wolf is the aftermath that you get when you cross a male coyote with a female dog. It's possible to cross a female coyote with a male dog, and then you'd end up with a less popular dog goatee. The hybrid tends to share qualities from both its parents, and its size is usually in between its coyote and dog parents. Number 6, the Narluga Whale. The Narluga Whale happens to be the genetic crossbreed between a beluga whale and a narwhal. Though more beluga in its appearance, this is probably due to the fact that, unlike its parent, the narluga is missing the iconic horn that makes the narwhal so famous. Fun fact, that's not really a horn. It's actually a tusk that pierces the upper lip, and it's used as a sensory organ. But I'm sure you guys get the point. Number 5, the Millard. What the duck? This little guy right here is called the Millard Duck, and not only is it a combination of two different genera, but also two different species as well, just like the Geep. Produced from the Peckin Duck and the Muscovy Duck, these hybrids were created solely for their meat. That's right, they're practically born on silver platters. 
Number 4. Savannah Cats If you're more of a cat person than a dog person, then you might want to take note on this next hybrid. The Savannah Cat is a cross between a domestic cat and a serval, which is a wild African cat with large ears. These cats are more socially friendly than their domestic counterparts, and are just as loyal as dogs. They can even be trained to walk on a leash and play fetch. So if you're looking for a new pet, you might want to look into these little guys. Plus, they're pretty cute. You know, for a cat. Number 3. Wolf-Dog Hybrid For all my dog lovers out there, chill out, this next one is for you. If you're a fan of wolves, and a fan of dogs, then why not get a combination of the two by getting your very own wolf-dog? These hybrids tend to be crossed from dogs that are similarly related to wolves, such as German Shepherds and Siberian Huskies. Fair warning, the behavior of these animals closely resembles that of a dog when they're puppies, but shifts into full-on wolf mode when they reach maturity. So be ready to tackle stubbornness, and have a strict training plan ready. Number two, the Jag Lion. Cat lovers rejoice! These majestic looking beasts are famously known as Jag Lions. They are the product of a male lion and a female jaguar doing the deed. The only known living Jag Lions are a pair of siblings that live at the Bear Creek Exotic Wildlife Sanctuary in Barrie, Ontario, Canada. Jazara and her brother Tsunami were born in captivity to their jaguar father Diablo and their lioness mother Lola back in 2009. Jazara was lucky enough to inherit her father's melanism which caused her all-black fur. Number 1. The Liger The most popular animal hybrid might just be the Liger, who's born from a tiger mother and a lion father. Unlike most hybrid offsprings, the Liger is able to reproduce successfully both males and females, and even produces healthy cubs. This animal is considered to be the actual king of the cats because they don't inherit a gene from their lion side that restricts their growth which is how the largest Liger was produced, weighing in at an incredible 900 pounds. You've gotta be kidding me! 